India Brothers presented Lifetime Achievement Award in UK. Leading re businessmen GP Hindia and SP Hindia have been honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award in business at a ceremony in the House of Lords. Indian economy showing turnaround at BUPS 2015 growth to 6.3%. Amal jumps to rank 15th in IFTN listing. Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation GCMMF which sells a mull brand of milk products ranked 15th among the top dairy organizations in the world in the International Farm Comparison Network, IFTN, a global dairy knowledge organization, Govind Mishra gets Saraswati Salmon 2013 for novel Hulapatan Par. Rajat Sharma appointed as the president of News Broadcasting Association. Edward Snowden and Alan Bridger won Right Livelihood Award 2014. SPI signed $500 million line of credit with Korea Exim Bank. State Bank of India, SB. The country's largest lender announced that it has signed a line of credit lock of $500 million with Export Import Bank of Korea, Korea Exim Bank. Cricketers Sachin Tendulkar and Steve Waugh selected as 2014 Bradman honoree. John Kerry elected as the Prime Minister of New Zealand for a third term. In the 2014 general elections of New Zealand held on the 20th of September 2014, the centre-right National Party led by John Key won 48% of the vote. Ashraf Ghani declared next Afghanistan new president. Alibaba IPO ranks as world's biggest after additional shares sold. Alibaba Group Holding Limited's initial public offering now ranks as the world's biggest in history at $25 billion, after the e-commerce giant and some of its shareholders sold additional shares. Liars dice to represent India at Oscars. Lieutenant General Rizwin Actor appointed as SE Chief. Lieutenant General Rizwin Actor on the 22nd of September 2014 was appointed as the new head of the Pakistan spy agency Inter-Services Intelligence, ISI. He will replace Lieutenant General Zahirul Islam, who is scheduled to retire in October 2014. India's Mars mission successful on first attempt. History made. India on Tuesday created space history by successfully placing its low-cost Mars spacecraft in orbit around the Red Planet in its very first attempt, catapulting the country into an elite club of three nations. Prime Minister launches Make in India campaign. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday launched his pet Make in India campaign to put India prominently on the global manufacturing map and, in turn, facilitate the inflow of new technology and capital, while creating millions of jobs. Time names Indian architect Alok Shetty leader of tomorrow. A 28-year-old Indian architect has been named young leader of tomorrow by Time magazine for his pioneering work in designing affordable flood-proof houses for slum dwellers. Coca-Cola India launches Zero Sugar Soft Drink. Coca-Cola India has launched its Zero Sugar Soft Drink, Coca-Cola Zero, in line with its strategy to make India its fifth largest market by 2020. Sania Karawin doubles title at Tatura Pacific Open. Indian tennis ace Sania Mirza and her Zimbabwean partner Kara Black have bagged the women's doubles title at the Tatura Pacific Open Tournament Jitterai wins gold at Asian Games. Ace Indian shooter Jitterai clinched a historic gold in the 50 meters pistol and Shweta Chaudhary gave India first medal by clinching bronze in the women 10 meters air pistol finals on Saturday on the opening day of the 17th Asian Games at the Ognian International Shooting Range. Asian Games opening ceremony on the move. The opening ceremony of the 17th Asian Games is now on at the coastal city of Incheon in South Korea. In the athletes' march past, Indian hockey cap? Sardar Singh, captain of the men's hockey team is the Indian contingent's flag bearer at 17th Asian Games. Padma Shri Mandalin Srinivas passes away. Srinivas, 45, popularly known as Mandalin Srinivas, is a renowned mandolin player of South Indian Carnatic music. He was being treated for a liver-related illness. Two-time Grand Slam winner Lena retires from tour. Lena, a two-time Grand Slam champion from China who took tennis and Asia to a new level, has retired due to recurring knee injuries. Subhash Chandra Garg appointed as World Bank at Senior IAS officer Subhash Chandra Garg was today appointed as Executive Director at In World Bank. Leonardo DiCaprio appointed as UN Messenger of Peace. Academy Award-nominated actor and environmental activist Leonardo DiCaprio has been designated the United Nations Messenger of Peace by UN Chief Ban Ki-moon. With a special focus on climate change, Atil Sainal by appointed as the chairman of XI. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi appointed former McKenzie India Chairman Adil Zainalbai as the Chairman of Quality Council of India, C. Microsoft Corporation by Minecraft game maker Mojang. Microsoft Corporation acquired the Swedish video game company Mojang for 2.5 billion US dollars. With this acquisition, Microsoft aims to lure young audience into its mobile world. Cognizant acquired healthcare software company Trezetto. Cognizant Technology Solutions Corporation acquired healthcare IT services provider Trezetto Corporation for 2.7 billion US dollars. The acquisition is aimed at boosting the healthcare business of Cognizant. Goa became a permanent venue for the International Film Festival of India, IFI. India slips to 158 in FIFA rankings. Lala the Kumaramangalam appointed NCW chairperson. The Union Ministry of Women and Child Development has appointed BJP National Executive Member Lala the Kumaramangalam as the new chief of the National Commission for Women, NCW. World Bank approves $105 million grant for Ebola hit countries. The World Bank approved a 105 million US dollars grant yesterday to bolster the fight to contain the deadly Ebola virus epidemic raging in West Africa. The funding is part of a 200 million US dollars World Bank pledge approved in early August to help Liberia, Sierra Leone and Guinea. Liberia, the country with the highest number of Ebola infections, will receive 52 million dollars, with Sierra Leone getting 28 million dollars and Guinea 25 million dollars. Boxer Mano wins court battle against government to get Arjuna. Forced to take the legal route after being denied the honor initially, Indian boxer Mano Kumar will be bestowed the Arjuna Award as the sports ministry has finally accepted his nomination. Kerala to host global agro meet in November. Government of Kerala will host a global agro meet and an exhibition on high tech agriculture and food processing at Kochi on 6th and 7th of November. Door Darshan celebrates 55 years of existence. Comic legend Joan Rivers dies at 81. SBI celebrated 150 years of its operations in Sri Lanka. The International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer was observed on the 16th of September 2014. The day marks the commemoration of the date of signing of the Montreal Protocol in 1987 on substances that deplete the ozone layer. The theme for 2014 is ozone layer protection. The mission goes on. USA won FIBA Basketball World Cup 2014. USA on the 14th of September 2014 won FIBA Basketball World Cup 2014 by defeating Serbia. The World Cup was held at Madrid, Spain. Rowan Bapana to receive Davis Cup Commitment Award. Narendra Mbwani elected ASI Chairman. Narendra Mbwani, Director, Agro Tech Foods Limited, has been elected as Chairman of the Advertising Standards Council of India, ASI. Scientist Kamal Bawa gets 2014 Midari Prize in Biodiversity. Indian scientist Kamal Bawa, a distinguished professor of biology at the University of Massachusetts in Boston, has won the 2014 Midari Prize in Biodiversity for his research, including in climate change in the Himalayas. Freedom fighter and journalist Jaitandra Chandra Paul died. U.S. Open, Marin Silic wins men's singles title. Croatia's Marin Silic has one men's singles title at the U.S. Open Tennis. Silic defeated Kani Shikori of Japan in straight sets to clinch the title in New York last night. He appeared to be the dominant side throughout the match and capped the final set in convincing fashion. Serena Williams won third consecutive U.S. Open title. World number one Serena Williams on the 7th of September 2014 won her third consecutive U.S. Open trophy. Chandrakala Padilla appointed as first women chairperson of IAS. Chandrakala Padilla was appointed as first women chairperson of Indian Institute of Advanced Study, IAS. HM launches India's first national anti-tuberculosis drug resistance survey. Health Minister Harsh Vardhan today launched India's first national anti-tuberculosis drug resistance survey in New Delhi. Sadakar Giant wins gold at World Masters Weightlifting Championships. Indian Army's Lieutenant Colonel Sadakar Giant completed a hat-trick of titles after clinching the gold medal for the third time at the IF World Masters Weightlifting Championships in Copenhagen. NATO Summit, Wales 2014 Wales is hosting the largest gathering of international leaders ever to take place in Britain at the NATO Summit on 4-5 to the 5th of September, 2014. Access Bank once again features in Forbes Asia's Fab 50 list. Access Bank which is India's third largest private bank has been featured in Forbes Asia's Fab 50 list of 2014.
This is the fourth time that Axis Bank has been featured and is amongst the only two banks in this renowned list. Indo-Nepal Joint Military Exercise Shurya Curran 7 concluded at Pithoraigarh. Indo-Nepal Joint Military Exercise Shurya Curran 7 concluded at Pithoraigarh. The exercise was seventh in the series. Former CJIP Sathya Savam appointed as Governor of Kerala. Andhra gets new capital to be located in the Vijayawada region. The new capital of Andhra Pradesh will be located in the Vijayawada region, Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu announced in the State Assembly on Thursday. Oxford Award for Chancellor of MS University. Dr. Murali Naidavi Puer, Chancellor of Maharaja Sai Jirao University at Vadodara, has been conferred with the Best Manager Award by the Oxford Summit of Leaders Science and Education in UK, according to University Registrar Amit Nalakia. Justice held two to be next Chief Justice of India. Vinod Mehta selected for GK Reddy Memorial Award 2014.